Hello everyone, I'm Yu Hongma from Ari Infinity. Today I would like to talk about the obstacle detection method applying the human selective attention that we use in our robots. I will start from the introduction. The recognition of the uh, dynamic obstacle is a very important function for autonomous uh, ro mobile robots. The ability to correctly identify the position of multiple obstacle in real time affect robots uh, strictly and the path planning and even the robots safety. So this study was performed to construct a detection system capital, uh, capable of recognizing multiple mode obstacle in real time. About our vision system, we use a omnidirectional camera and a dips camera and a LiDAR to get the environment information. About the detail, detail of the sensors, we will inter, uh, introduce later in the video challenge. By integrating information from multiple sensors, we can obtain the auxiliary environment information. And we use omnidirectional camera to identify the cell position and three sensors to three sensors to determine the position of obstacles. Then we synthesize the self position with the obstacle information to get the position information of the obstacles. However, the self position obtained by the omnidirectional camera will contain a certain amount a monster of error. In order to integrate variable errors in the position information, we use the Fermi direct dis distribution. Generally, uh, the Fermi direct distribution can be used to represent uh, the distribution probability of the electrons, which has the property of the uh, spreading with the increasing uh, temperature. In here, we use the Fermi direct distribution to represent uh, the variation of the error with the distance. After applying the Fermi direct dist uh, distribution, we generate a probability space from the obstacle information obtained by a single robot, like this. After that, we generate a combined probability space by aggregating the obstacle information obtained by uh, mu uh, multiple robots. When combined the information uh, ob obtain, uh, obtained by from OT robot, we generate a probability space where only uh, opponent robots exist by removing the uh, fitness value with, uh, a cent a <coughs> with the cent center uh, range of the uh, teammate robot's position, uh, like this uh, blue circle. So uh, the generated probability space has a multiple maxima, and it is difficult for general search method to find all the maxima in the real time. So here, we adopt the concept of human selective at attention to find all the maxima in real time. The human viral system does not have the ability to propose, uh, process our information uh, taken by the eye. However, uh, we can recognize uh, viral surrounding information unconsciously in real time. That's because the uh, human viral system can throw out unnecessary information and reduce the load of brain. We call it selective attention. The, the selective attention is consists of two elements. One of it is active attention. When we look at the given ob object, we only pay attention to a narrow area like this blue robot. On the other hand, we can notice objects that appear into the view suddenly, like this ball. We call this uh, passive attention. Selective attention, se selective attention, uh, simultaneous uh, relies both the narrow area attention uh, searched from the carefully and the wide area attention searched for roughly. We propose a 
detect the system consisting of the attention G based on a selective attention, which uh, consists of random searching as a roof search and an improved G searching as a careful searching. When the fitness value of the searching point, like this uh, red point, exists a three holes. And the position of this uh, candidate point uh, begins to care for searching, like this black point. This, uh, this algorithm follows the following formula for the uh, <coughs> allocation of the computational resource. Since the value of our uh, searching point, uh, PA, in this, uh, it's a fixed value. So when the only few groups of G exist, like this picture, uh, the searching system has a high performance for the finding a newly appraising uh, uh, target. On the other hand, when there are many groups of G, the searching system has a high performance in order to detect multiple targets. So we can see uh, the, this is a trade-off relation between the performance for finding a new target and detecting a multi-targets. Finally, uh, we performed the uh, performance uh, verification experiment. This, uh, the size of the uh, field is six times eight meter. And uh, this experiment using two robots and two moving obstacles. We confirmed the rec recognition re result in real time on the screen of the coach PC. So this video shows the result of our experiment. As you can see, uh, our robot detects uh, the position of the two uh, obstacles in real time successfully. Here's the conclusion. Uh, we have <laughs> we have developed an obstacle search algorithm based on human selective attention. And uh, we applied the algorithm to soccer robot and achieved a uh, real-time recognition uh, of surrounding obstacles. That's all. Thank you for your attention. Hi, everyone. I'm Kevin Ricardo from R3 Infinity, and today I will be presenting about improving distance estimation based on sensor fusion system. First of all, I will be introducing a little bit about our team. Our team was named RV Infinity and was founded in 2008. We are from Tokyo Polytechnic University Robot Fusion Laboratory. Our laboratory is focusing on developing and doing research in the fusion system. Since then, we have participated in RoboCup competition focusing in middle size sleep. Here is a picture of our team in RCAP 2019. This video shows the basic abilities of our latest version robot. To compete in RoboCup middle size sleep, a robot must have basic abilities playing a soccer game like a human, such as dribbling, kicking the ball towards the goal, and passing. The robot makes this decision autonomously by using computer vision. Here is how the self-localization of the robot works. How our robot recognizes an obstacle, avoiding upcoming obstacles. This is an example of different gameplay action. Each robot has a specific role such as striker forward, defender, and, go and goalkeeper. Next, I will be presenting on the main topic of this video challenge about our latest research. In RoboCup, understanding the position of objects, such as robots, balls, play an important role in robots' movement and game strategy. In this case, an omnidirectional camera was widely used as the main system to recognize and estimate the distance of the object. However, by just using this single system, it lacks in distance accuracy that affects the game plays. 
So the purpose of this study is to accurately estimate the distance of another robot by applying sensor fusion system. The conventional method is by using omnidirectional fusion system. This fusion system is located at the top of the robot that consists of hyperbolic mirror and a camera. This system is able to capture 360 degrees angle views by pointing camera upwards to the hyperbolic mirror. This figure shows image taken from omnidirectional camera. To recognize robot with semantic black color and massive red field area. Then its black feature, which is the robot, was searched radially from center of the image. The image pixel was counted and converted to actual distance. This table shows the distance estimation when target or in this case another robot is placed from 1 meter to 7 meters. From this result, significant amount of distance error was shown from this method. To solve the issue shown before, we propose a new method called sensor fusion. Sensor fusion is by combining two new sensors beside omnidirectional camera. The first sensor that we use is a depth camera. This depth camera is using IR stereo technology that can measure from 0.4 meter to 20 meters. Next, the second sensor is a LiDAR. This LiDAR is a 2D scanner that can measure from 0.06 meters to 10 meters. The field of view of depth camera is 86 degrees, where LiDAR is 270 degrees. In theory, by combining these two sensors, it can cover 360 degrees just like an omnidirectional camera. This figure representing each sensor field of view. And next is the actual robot. That camera is placed to cover 36 degrees from view and LiDAR is placed to cover 270 degrees rear view. Although this system has a dead zone of some degrees that can't be covered. Next, what is a depth camera? A normal camera can capture a colored image that every pixel contains RGB value. Besides colored image, depth image can be obtained with depth camera. Every pixel of this image contains distance value from the camera and represented by color. The red color represents the closest distance, where the blue color represents the farthest distance. From this colored image, we do the traditional image processing to recognize robot. Then, the calculated robot coordinates were applied to depth image, then were converted to 3D point cloud, where actual XYZ coordinates can be obtained. Next is the second sensor LiDAR. Because LiDAR is 2D scanner, it needs to use an omnidirectional camera information for object recognition. In this figure, there are three robots to be recognized. This recognized robot's angle then was mapped, and LiDAR was used to measure the distance of the object. To compare the accuracy of each sensor, we conducted a distance estimation verification. This experiment shows the distance error of each sensor when recognizing the distance of another robot. The table shows the result when the target was placed from 1 meter to 7 meters. From this result, the distance estimation of the new sensors were reduced significantly, or in this case, more than 10 times compared to a conventional vision system. After applying the sensor fusion to our current system, we conducted a verification on the actual Sarkovian environment. The result shows estimated robot position in our field with slam of the main robot. The robot is placed at the center of the field and a total of three targets around it. This figure shows omnidirectional camera result.
where the red box represents target position and the blue box represents the estimated target position. In this result, we know that the estimated target position is off from the actual position. Next is the sensor fusion result. Comparing to the omnidirectional camera result, sensor fusion has lower distance error. This table shows the error of each target in details. In conclusion, sensor fusion result is more accurate compared to the, co compared to the conventional method. Next, this video shows how each sensor and sensor fusion performs in real time. This is when only a LiDAR sensor is used to map two robots around it. The mapping result is shown here. Next is when only a depth camera is used. We saw this video in a 6x8 meters field. This is final result of sensor fusion performed in real time. Note that the self-localization error of the main robot is included and affect the targets of mapping error. Lastly, to summarize this study, we applied depth camera and LiDAR as sensor fusion to 2D meter size lake robot. As the results, distance estimation was improved significantly compared to the omnidirectional camera. For our future works, we, we are planning to develop LiDAR robot recognition without using omnidirectional camera information. I'm planning to develop object recognition using deep learning. That's all. Thank you for watching.